lucky to show you how I could apply these science concepts which I learned from school at home. Most of the time, we have taken science concepts for granted and of less importance. Yes, we students study a lot for the purpose of getting high marks at school. We didn't realize that these are the solutions and can be made into simple tools which can make our daily life activities more easy and more comfortable. We did not notice the technological advancement and scientific achievements which can impact our daily life activities with these concepts and it can influence our daily life. Now, I have made some few projects like weather detector and water detector. Let me show you how it works, why it works, what's the concept. We move on to weather detector. This is a simple project which has two parts. The first part goes on the rooftop, over here. This part goes inside the house in your walls. How is it made and how does it work? The concept is that it detects water, uh, it detects weather from which direction the wind is coming. It can be used in airports for the takeoff and landing of planes which can prevent from the crash. How is it made? This is a battery connection which the positive negative side is connected to this switch and the positive side only negative side only get completed when this switch is on. Now the negative side goes to this part, to this part of the LCD. The positive side goes here but it doesn't come here. Where does it go? It goes in this wire which will be going up on the terrace, connected to this over here, to this pendulum which will actually touch the four corners and will also tell you which direction wind is coming. If the wind is coming from south to north, it will touch the north, give you the light of north. If it's coming from west to east, then it will touch east and give you east. If it's coming from between, from two sides, it will give you two sides on, which means it's coming from between. This is the positive side of wire, which actually comes from this, over here, which completes the circuit only by touching the nails. We move on to our water detector. The concept is that water is a good conductor of electricity and it also has the ability to complete the circuit. I have made this simple project, simple application. First, the sprinkler. Inside your garden, the sprinkler is needed for the freshness of grass, but when the rain comes, it's of no use. Waste of gallons of water, actual waste of water happens. How can you prevent it? How can you save water? Let me show you. This is your sprinkler over here, inside your garden. What happens when the rain comes, waste of water, how can you automatically switch off? Let me show you. This is a simple circuit made of copper wire, wood with glue and the components are stuck with the use of soldering wire. Now, when the sprinkler is on, this is the sensor. The circuit is not complete to switch off. How can it be completed? With the flow of water. When the sensor is dipped inside the water, it actually closes, giving you alarm that rain is coming and it's closing the sensor. And when the rain goes, again it opens. Move on to lights. Light is used in ceremonies like wedding, opening a new shop, a new home, so on. What happens when the water comes on top of the lights? It actually causes short circuit, so it causes a fire. And when it's fire, lots of property loss. What can you do when the lights are there and the rain comes? How can you save your property loss? How can you switch off automatically, especially during midnight? Let me show you. The same way the sensor is still incomplete, the circuit is incomplete, but as soon as it touches the water, it closes. It can, you know, actually give you time. You know, you don't have to take time. No more risk in losing your property. It will automatically close. But when the rain goes, it opens again. So no more property loss anymore. 